What up, y'all? It's your boy, Say Atlanta's checking in once again. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Holding it down for the uh, Let's Argue the Morning Show. And um, today we're going to talk about um, RFK Jr. He's making a big splash. He's going to be the biggest third-party candidate since uh, Ross Perot uh, back in 92. Um, and I know some of y'all probably don't remember Ross Perot, but can't remember exactly what percentage of the votes he got, but he was on that stage. It was three people up on that stage debating. You know what I'm saying? And usually independents uh, uh, do not make it to that stage. Um, but RFK uh, Jr. is a person who's going to make it to that stage. And um, he's starting to get a little bit of mainstream uh, publicity. You know, he tried to run as a Democrat against uh, Joe Biden. The Democrats weren't having it. Actually, they demonized him and they tried to block him from uh, even getting a lot of coverage because, you know, the Democrat has a lot of the media companies in their pocket. So RFK Jr. wasn't able to get on a lot of mainstream TV, even though he was a lifelong, lifelong Democrat and his family, the Kennedys, are lifelong Democrats. They have a lot of history and legacy behind their name. Um, so RFK, um, he chose to go the independent route. Uh, he chose a VP. He's getting signatures. He's going to be on the ballot in all 50 states. And he got had an interview on um, CNN. And, um, and you know, I, I don't agree with RFK Jr. on everything, but I agree with a lot of, a lot of things that he has to say. Uh, not everything, but, you know, uh, and the major thing that I agree with him, we can't actually say on YouTube, but, you know, it involved mandates. Um, but, he was asked a question on CNN that I want to talk about today. He was actually asked uh, two questions, but um, he was asked a question about um, about the biggest threat to democracy. What about Donald Trump uh, be, being a threat to democracy? And RFK Jr. said that he can argue that Joe Biden is a bigger threat to democracy. And this is something that I've been saying for a very, very long time. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. We're gonna go ahead and play this first clip. The clip, um, he's being interviewed by Aaron Burnett over on CNN. Let's play this first clip and um, we're gonna see how he uh, answers this question. But that, that was appalling. And there's many things that President Trump has done that, that are appalling. But in 2001, we had an election stolen in this country. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong video. Let me go to the next one. Hold on. I believe that when people talk about the threat to democracy that Trump poses, do you really think that that is is, is an equal yeah, evil I mean, to I, Biden? I, I mean, listen, I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy. And the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. I, you know, I can say that because I just won a case in the Federal Court of Appeals and now before the Supreme Court. It shows that he started censoring not just me. 37 hours after he took the oath of office, he was censoring me. No president in the country has ever done that. The greatest threat in democracy is not somebody who questions election returns, but a president of the United States who used the power of his office to force the social media companies, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to open a portal and give access to that portal to the FBI, to the CIA, to the IRS, to CISA, to NIH, to censor his political critics. President Biden, for the first, first president in history, to use the secret, his power over the Secret Service, to deny Secret Service protection to one of his political opponents. For political reasons, he's weaponizing the federal agencies, those are really critical threats Donald to democracy. Donald Trump, of course, tried to overturn a free and fair election. He tried to overturn one, right? He's, he's still fighting in court. Yes. He's a, how is that not a threat to democracy? Well, I think that is a threat to democracy. If he, yeah, him overthrow, trying to overthrow the election clearly is a threat to democracy. But the, the question was... Who is a worse threat to democracy? And what I would say is, I, you know, I'm not going to answer that question, but I can argue that President Biden is because the First Amendment, Aaron, is the. Okay, so there you have it. Um, 
All of Katie Jr. is making a case that Joe Biden is a bigger threat to democracy. And he named the fact that excuse me. Excuse me. Um he named the fact that um that the censoring of a of an, a political opponent. Okay. Then he said the denying Secret Service protection to a presidential candidate, which is him. These are all things that Joe Biden has done. Has done. People don't know that, that that the Biden administration worked with um, companies like Google, like Meta, and things like that to censor not only just RFK as a political candidate, but anybody who spoke up against anything that involved um, anything in the med- medical um feel or medical suggestions uh, uh, during the, the 2020, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and the countless of um, content creators were taken off of these platforms and censored on these platforms anytime they spoke out of, against the administration, anytime they spoke out against uh, Big Pharma, anytime they spoke out against uh, uh, any, of, any of the things we were seeing on TV. We, we we uh, uh during that pandemic that we disagreed with we were getting censored and so that's free speech that's in america that's free speech so not only is he is he doing that for free speech but then it, not only is he he just denied him secret service but he also um he also is is using his administration is using uh federal agencies to go after his number one political opponent, which is Donald Trump. And it's like, when, when are people, people always talk about a revenge tour. Well, Joe Biden is on a tour himself. And it's like, when people are going to see that their, their rights are getting ripped away, you know what I'm saying? They're going to come after guns. Um, they're coming after parents' rights. And this administration, parents don't even have the right to, uh, in a lot of cases, even to know things about their kids while they're at school, how their kids are raised. A lot of parents don't have these rights. So these are things that's going on under the under the Biden administration all over the country. When people say threat to democracy, they have to take a look at what's going on now. Donald Trump is actually trying to implement back a democracy where people have say and um and, and also, which leads to the point of, of democracy, many people think that the election was rigged in 2020 anyway. And I also made a point, and I said that, um, why is it okay for Democrats to talk about an election being rigged? And it's just okay. But when a Republican talks about an election being rigged, they don't believe in democracy. They are a threat to democracy. They're an election denier. They have all these different names for them. But it's totally okay if the Democrats do it. So remember, and I'm going to play this other clip. Uh, let me see. I'll play this other clip. And he's going to talk about what actually happened um, in 2001 and 2004. But that, that was appalling. And there's many things that President Trump has done that that are appalling. But in 2001, we had an election stolen in this country during the Bush Gore election. In 2004, I wrote an award-winning article for Rolling Stone that showed how that election was stolen from John Kerry. So I don't think, and most Americans agree with me about 2001, that it was stolen election from from the Democratic Party candidate. So I don't think people who say that the election is stolen or not, that we shouldn't treat, we shouldn't make pariahs of those people. We shouldn't demonize them. We shouldn't vilify them. What we should be doing is saying, let's all get together, Republicans and Democrats, and fix the election system so that it cannot be fixed, so that we're the exemplary democracy of the world. We ought to, you know, Las Vegas, let let me tell you this, Las Vegas is built on machines that can count and never make mistakes. 
should, can't we, can't we make an a, a election machine and can't we have an electoral process? Mm-hmm. And every when American you go through says, all whatever the data, happens, okay, hold on, but it wait. cannot be, it can't, it can't be, it can't be fixed. Right. And so that's all we're asking. He's saying that in 2001, there was an election stolen for, uh, uh, from Al Gore to George W. Bush. I don't know if people remember, but Al Gore was actually declared the winner of Florida, which would then give him the presidency and declare him the president. They went back and flipped Florida and said, no, Florida is actually for George W. Bush. Now, at the time, the governor of Florida was Jeb Bush, George W. Bush's brother. And so it looked like some some votes came in out of nowhere and and because of Florida, that gave George W. Bush the win. All Democrats were saying that the election was stolen. Nobody said they were anti-American. Nobody said they were anti-Democrat. I, I mean, uh, they were threats to democracy or anything. Nobody called them election deniers. In 2004, what, what RFK Jr. is saying is that he wrote an article, which he won an award for, detailing how the 2004 election was stolen from John Kerry. Nobody was calling him an election denier or anything like that. In 2016, the Russian collusion, uh, uh, what they call, what Hillary and Barack and, and the Democrats were talking about was that Trump only won because of a Russian collusion. And so the, they basically illegitimized his presidency as well. Before he even got into office, they came up with the Russian collusion. Nobody called them election deniers and different things like that. But as soon as Republicans say, hey, we think something was wrong with the 2020 election, you know, whether whether, whether it was the machines or the mail-in ballots, something was off about this election. Now we are anti-democracy. Now we're a threat to democracy. And it doesn't make any sense. Both sides do it. And just because a person thinks that the 2020 election was rigged does not mean that they are anti-American. Okay. Um, and this is where we're at in this country. Uh, I'm glad RFK Jr. said what he said. Um, and I've been telling people all the time, I think Joe Biden is a much bigger threat to democracy than Donald Trump. Uh, but we're going to see how it plays out. man. This is starting to ramp up. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon because... Um, I know on Instagram, they are starting to censor a lot of uh, political talk. Um, and they might do this, do it on other platforms as well. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that when I drop videos, you will be notified. All right, peace. Keep God first.